Hey guys, welcome to the third part of the Titan X project. Well, this is not really about the Titan X, but it's more about how I test the car. So this video is about the water chiller I'm using. So I will explain in this video how exactly this thing works and how it looks. So this is the chiller. It's a quite unspectacular black box. As you can see, we can just uh, walk around quickly. So from the dimensions, it should be something, well, you can see my hand here. So it should be something like 50 uh, centimeters long, uh, around 40 in the, in the width and uh, maybe another 50 in the height, I'm not sure, but uh, that should be around it. Um, so from the back, you can see there's something like a radiator in there. Um, I will open it uh, later so we can take a look inside and then you will see exactly how it works. And from the other side, So uh, this is the reservoir, can just unscrew this and then can take a look inside and um, so you can fill up to 13 liters of water in here which is needed for um, well let's say t uh, stable temperatures, I will explain later why exactly. Um, here you can attach two loops, two water cooling loops, one here and another one here, you can see um, a dual laying uh, DDC is still attached here from my uh, Titan X project. I used some Bits Power Quick Connect plugs, they're actually quite nice, I really like them. You need a laying D DDC dual pump um, for the flow, because the flow has to be more than 150 liters per hour, otherwise it's not enough. And you need um, a very high flow rate, otherwise um, you cannot get the heat away from uh, the chiller. So. Uh, another thing I would uh, like to mention, so from here you will have uh, hot air coming out and here is a USB connector to connect to the Aqua Aero from Aqua Computer which is inside. Here the normal power connector and here just the power switch. So now I will remove the cover quickly and we can take a look inside. So this is how the chiller looks like without the cover. So let's take a look at it from the top first to get a quick overview. What we have here, this is the big water tank. You can see it's insulated with some insulation form to protect it from uh, any kind of condensation. Uh, this is the controller for the compressor. The compressor itself, well, is compressing uh, the gas which is coming from this part. And then the compressed gas, well, it's not a gas anymore, it's liquid then, goes uh, through those pipes here to this part, which is, I'm um, not sure if, it's correct English, but it's a heat exchanger, so it will exchange um, uh, the heat from the water um, to the liquid. So when the liquid goes in this part and it evaporates, it will um, remove the heat from the water and then go back uh, to this part, to this one where it's, it's basically a radiator which is cooling down the gas. And uh, once it's liquid again, the gas, it will go back to the compressor so it can be compressed again and then it's a circle. It's quite hard to explain that in English actually, but I hope you can get an idea of how it works. Here you can see an Aqua Aero from Aqua Computer. This part is controlling this whole machine. Also um, the controller here. Yeah, so that's basically it. You can see I attached a power cord also a USB to my laptop and I also attached um, quickly an EK water blocks uh, yeah EK water blocks cooler just to show you later how cool it can get. All right so I just fired up uh, the chiller you can see um, this part the fan is spinning now you can also hear probably the compressor uh, how it's compressing the gas it's not really loud, um, maybe a little bit uh, louder um, than your normal refrigerator you have at home. There's not much you can see actually, but we, I can show you some stuff um, at, the, at my laptop in the Aquero, uh, well in the Aqua Suite. So what you can see here are three things you can adjust. Um, the main thing you can adjust is here, where you can set um, the part where it starts um, to cool down and when it stops to cool down so it starts at 16 degrees and it stops at, at 9 degrees Celsius and currently because I just started it's at 17 degrees so you can see um, the temperature is decreasing at the moment. Also you can uh, set the control value here. Uh, currently the value is set to 11 degrees. That's the point where it should cool to so that's why the, the control output is at 100%. If I would increase that one to around 20 degrees Celsius it would go down to 
zero uh, percent. So let's wait a little bit until uh, the water is cool. So luckily I just found my device to measure the volume of this neat piece. So you can see when I'm talking it's quite loud, 60, 70 dB. So when I'm just pointing uh, at the chiller from like 50 centimeter distance, It's around 60 dB, which is not which is not that bad. It's this is the maximum power currently, so I guess 60 dB is actually okay. So this is the CPU block now. You can see when I just blow air on it, you can straight see there is a little bit of water on it. That's because of the condensation. So you can see the water inside here is really cold now. It's around 9.5 degrees Celsius which is the lowest I can go here because we have uh, around 20 degrees Celsius room temperature and that's the point um, I can hit. If I go lower with the chiller, of course I could go lower, but then I would have straight condensation on here on the fittings and also on the cooler itself, which is something I do not want, obviously, especially when you're running GPUs and you have all this uh, condensation water on the back on, uh, of the GPU, it can easily fry your GPU. That's something I obviously don't want, so that's the lowest I can go with this chiller. So that's it about the water chiller. I hope uh, you got a small insight of how this thing works and how I test my card uh, with this water chiller, how I maintain the temperature at around 20 to uh, 15 degrees Celsius. So in the next video, we will take a closer look at the card itself and test it under game circumstances. Uh, and the video afterwards, which should be the fourth part of the Titan X series, will be about volt modding and also extreme overclocking. So, well, enjoy the video. Um, well, enjoy the rest of your Sunday. See you soon.